again and welcome back to Library Macabre where I talk about books, movies, writing, and all things spooky. And today I'll be reviewing Odd Man Out by James Newman. Odd Man Out by James Newman is published by Bloodshot Books and Pete from Bloodshot Books was very kind and sent me a whole box of Bloodshot Books books a couple of months ago and this was in there. I never heard of it, didn't know what to expect of it, but looked really good because I saw that took place at a camp and the synopsis certainly grabbed me. Welcome to Black Mountain Camp for Boys, summer 1989. It is a time for splashing in the lake and exploring the wilderness for nine teenagers to bond together and create friendships that could last the rest of their lives. But among this group, there is a young man with a secret. A secret that, in this time and place, is unthinkable to his peers. When the others discover the truth, it will change each of them forever. They will all have blood on their hands. Odd Man Out is a heart-wrenching tale of bullies and bigotry, a story that explores what happens when good people don't stand up for what's right. It is a tale of how far we have come and how far we still have left to go. Now, I wasn't going to read this book for a couple of months still. I was actually saving it for this big, um, short book binge read because this book is pretty short. It's under 200 pages. So I was going to save it for this big binge read I was going to do. And I randomly just picked it up and turned to the first page. And then I couldn't stop reading. And before I knew it, I had finished the whole book. So if that tells you anything about the storytelling here, it's beautiful. Uh, it's also heart-wrenching. Just because I couldn't put it down does not mean it wasn't hard. This is very much in style of something Jack Ketchum would have written, uh, especially The Girl Next Door, where you're reading about horrible things happening to somebody so good. And it's unjust. It is not fair at all, uh, but it is eye-opening and it really challenges you. Uh, it didn't challenge me. I was already on the side of uh, the, the character before even going in, uh, but I, I know of a few people who could really benefit from reading a book like this. They need a good punch to the gut, and I think this would do it. I don't want to say too much more about the plot that the synopsis hasn't already said, but I can say that this is very much a book uh, about hatred, uh, a hate crime in particular. If that is a trigger for you, I would definitely stay away from this. Uh, if it's going to dredge up any bad memories, don't read it. But if you're somebody who is okay with feeling uncomfortable and feeling emotional, and if you're okay with crying, I know a lot of people aren't okay with that. They don't like that feeling and it's not a good feeling it's okay to feel that way it's okay to cry but I know a lot of people don't like it um, it's a personal thing uh, I am personally okay with uh, shedding a few tears in a book I think that's actually uh, it says a lot about the storytelling and this certainly did pull quite a few tears out of me it's a very powerful read it's disturbing yes uh, and it will uh, make you a little bit sick to your stomach but it it does its job it really does now you've probably heard me compare this to the girl next door by jack ketchum and you're like oh i don't want anything to do with this book it's not as graphic as that book only because it's not as prolonged therefore you don't have to suffer for quite as long which was good but it's it's still really hard to read and there is a place for books like this in our world books like these exist to put everyday people in the shoes of minorities and to teach people empathy. It's okay to have a heart. In terms of the storytelling itself, I thought it was really well written. It's very simple. It's told from the perspective of a man who is recounting what happened uh, at his camp when he was a kid. So it's very easy to get into. It's, it flows very naturally. There are a lot of nostalgic aspects as you're reading along, um, but then those <laughs> nostalgic aspects are also backed up by a 
toxic masculinity in the making. The only reason why I'm going to give this book four stars instead of five out of five stars is just that I felt like it could have been fleshed out a little bit more. I would have really liked to have gotten to know the characters just a bit more, especially the character, the one that is going through all of the torment. I would have really liked to just learn more about him as a person. Otherwise, I thought this was a great read. Heavy, but I do recommend it. So there is my review of Odd Man Out by James Newman. Thank you so much to Bloodshot Books for sending this along. If you would like to read this for yourself, I will leave links down below in the graveyard. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later, creeps.